Hi guys, it's Marcus speaking and it's been a long time since we posted the last video or we did the last update and stuff. But um, just want to let you know that we've not been lazy. Um, I want to show you today a feature that will um, come up with the next update of Jewelers, which we're pretty excited about. Um, in fact, we created a new server API, uh, which uses Stamen Design's wonderful map stack, which is pretty great to like create super custom maps, super super easy and fast. So let me straight jump into this. Uh, where can you find it? Of course, you can find it in the server settings. So let's make a new map stack profile. Profile. Well, it doesn't matter right now. So, um, under the API drop down, you can find statement map site right now. And clicking this will reveal just this huge button that leads you straight into this editor. Now, that looks a bit boring and a bit complicated, like lots of stuff going on here. But let me quickly demonstrate how powerful this is. So, what can we do here? We got like a layer stack right here, so we can add layers and we can remove layers. And everything that's beneath is like the settings for those layers. So let's call this base. See, that's the name of the layer right here. Uh, what can we do with it? Uh, we got a drop down right here. And this reveals like either we want that layer to be a solid color or we want it to have like a texture and we got like a lot of textures you might know them like from um, uh, Stamen Design so probably I choose the watercolor uh, theme right here and what can we do with it uh, first there's a checkbox to like invert the colors well not here probably um, next thing we can um, turn down the opacity of the layer of course we can turn down or turn up the brightness of the layer. Um, we can set down the saturation so we have a like a grayscale. Uh, we could color tint it a bit so I can see like the color. I probably want to like some some bluish right here. So that's cool. Don't want it that much. So we can set down the percent value right here. Um, we can actually mask that layer to like um, all of these uh, masks. So I could use it in just the buildings, or sorry, I can use it on just the water or whatever. But I'm gonna leave my base layer like this. Uh, the blunt mode is like when you have more layers. So this is gonna come up in a few seconds. Cause I'm gonna create another layer. Um, this is going to be my uh, water. Sorry, take I take blue color and a mask it to the water. Cool. I got my water right here, and I of course now can set the blend mode to multiply. For example, what can we do else? Let's go on. I want my parks to be greenish or. No, actually, I want to like use um, toner background, which looks like that, and then I'm gonna like mask it to my parks. So you see it; it's just right here, and I want to color tint this like greenish. I don't see it that much because like. The tint is like only in the, in the mid tones and the green, so when I turn down the brightness a bit, I'm gonna see this better. And again, I could like multiply it or overlay it, whatever. Um, yeah, let's do this. Let's go on. I wanna have buildings on here, pretty sweet. Blending it with multiply. And of course, I wanna have streets. So let's create another layer and do toner lines up there. So that's just black and white, but again, you can have like any color. You can, um, I want to choose and like, yeah, some, some orange. Oh, that will look, 
that will look kind of cool. And there we go. So that's a pretty cool new style actually. Um, my layers are not named so nice, but that doesn't matter for me now. So I'm gonna like click apply, close the window, oops. And um, if I want to close that, it asks me again, do I want to save the changes because like we created a new profile. And of course I want to save the changes and we're straight away able to use it. So I'm like initialized with the eighth layer right here, the one that you can see here. And you can of course, oops, I get a few in here. Um, use the new profile, click apply, and it's gonna download those tiles and there we go, new profile. I'm gonna quickly funnelize it. So that's maybe the only downside. It's of course slower than like Bing Maps and stuff because your tiles are gonna be rendered on the same and servers in real time, right? So that's what's gonna make it a bit slow. But look at that, pretty colorful, pretty cool and unique and this has just been created in like within five minutes so thanks for watching the video and stay tuned for a next update